a gay mark of this production. Hi guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be doing another one of my top 5 videos, this time based around the most exciting aspects of the upcoming title Watch Dogs for current and next generation systems. If any of you have enjoyed my Grand Theft Auto 5 videos, I will ask you to stick around as the two games do share some significant similarities. Without further delay, here are my top 5 reasons to be excited for Watch Dogs. Number 5 First off, the most key component to the draw of Watch Dogs is the hacking system. In the sprawling city of Chicago, many municipal systems are controlled by what is known as the COS, or Central Operating System. You can control parts of the city such as traffic lights, trains and even cash points. In a city ruled by technology, your smartphone is a weapon more deadly than any firearm. Through the power of the COS, you can instantly profile people you see on the street, hack their bank account and run off with the money. You can even hack into the city's surveillance cameras in order to look for potential victims, criminals and much more. One of the most powerful hacks you have available to you is a city-wide blackout, which can be used to escape dangerous situations. Number 4 Similar to Assassin's Creed Black Flag, Watch Dogs is to be one of the first games to take advantage of next generation systems and with that will come some pretty nifty graphics. Everything from rain effects to lighting will look like nothing we're used to and all this attention to detail should really help to add to the immersion. Considering the additional memory of the PS4 and Xbox One, the city of Chicago should be a much larger open environment than we are used to, with hopefully few loading screens. Good graphics are certainly not necessary for a great game, but they really add something special to it. Number 3 while you're out exploring the city of Chicago in free roam, you will likely come across a dynamic mission that you can find using the profiler in your phone. Shown in the recent walkthrough trailer was Aiden's ability to intervene during backstreet crimes and chase down criminals that can be both unpredictable and deadly. Being missions that are relatively unstructured, they can be tackled from many different angles. You could simply opt to shoot the crook and be done with it, but you may instead decide to apprehend the criminal and bring them in alive. Choosing to do things this way will result in a positive reputation. Number 2 Similar to games like Infamous and Mass Effect, the player can choose what kind of a person Aiden Pierce is. Will you play a brave vigilante who stands up for those who cannot do so themselves, or will you steal bank accounts from struggling single parents just to buy a new gun? The decisions you make throughout the game will affect your reputation. The people of Chicago will view you based on the way you have acted. This means that there will be repercussions to your actions. Behave badly and the police will chase you down. Act like a hero and people on the streets will support your unconventional style of law enforcement. It's number one. Revealed in the most recent walkthrough trailer was the ability to infiltrate other players' single player games and hack their phones to upload a virus. The player will be alerted when their phone has been hacked and must use their phone's profiler to find the hacker amongst a crowd. If you manage to find the culprit, you must deal with them in order to prevent the virus being uploaded to your phone. Should you be the one to upload the virus, you must remain anonymous while the virus uploads to the other player's phone. If they discover who you are, you can either try and escape in a vehicle or just shoot them, but this will cancel the virus upload. I am not yet certain if this will be a system you can opt in and out of. While this seems to be an amazingly inventive concept, I can imagine it quickly becoming annoying if other players are disrupting your single player missions. Those are my top 5 reasons to be excited for Watch Dogs. What are you looking forward to most about this open world game? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.